Palm Springs International Film Society provides a stepping stone. They provide us with tools to inspire our students to want to document and to want to film and to want to become storytellers. You can do anything with a film degree. It's necessary in every single field. It gives students the ability to communicate and express themselves. I really think this is what we have to do. We have to inspire them. Film education is an avenue to teach literacy for our kids. Before I didn't, I didn't even know where to start. I mean, I could pick up my camera and, and shoot something, but I wouldn't really know how to go about organizing it. Working with other people and getting outside feedback was 90% of your success. Film teaches you something more than just, you know, getting a camera and shooting stuff and making a movie. Film education really does give you a grounding in what it means to be a complete human being today and connect with other people. The most excited response I've ever seen to films on screen. I've seen it our student screening days. I, I, there's nothing like it. One of the ways that we fold students into the festival is through big exhibition opportunities. Those are called student screening days and we do one during Feature Fest and one in advance of Short Fest. And screening day was awesome. So one of them actually almost made me cry. It just showed a lot of emotion. I cried after, like the whole movie with Clark. I just cried. We got to make, meet great people. 1,100 high school students from all over the Coachella Valley come to attend and accompanying those films are the filmmakers, the film subject, if it's a documentary, and some of the visiting talent. What's so unique about Student Screening Day is that they're not just seeing a picture and sitting back and being entertained, but they're also getting to engage with the talent. It brings the films to life in a way that most of the time you don't get to experience. We developed another Student Screening Day to accompany Short Fest in June. We program a day of short films that have played Short Fest, and we bring the filmmakers in to engage the students on a panel. Oftentimes the filmmakers are really young and really fresh. It's a really great kind of connective tissue for students to see, wow, I'm really only three steps behind these filmmakers. Palm Springs Unified School District really gets this event and has from the very beginning. We put a lot of thought into it and a lot of time into it as to our target audience, which is young people. What's going to be interesting, what's going to be entertaining, what's going to be thought-provoking, what's going to be provocative. And we carefully select which films we're going to show. We're trying to inspire them to sort of uh, bring stories that they are not maybe seen in the multiplex around the corner. The smaller independent films really, really help, especially some of the ones they choose to show at Student Day are done by younger filmmakers, some barely out of high school, some I think even still in high school. Having these one-on-one -on -one discussions with writers or directors or producers and seeing these films, it opens up doors and opportunities for these students to explore all kinds of things. So great. You're really, you got an inspiration to me. I just want to say that. Sometimes they get transported to another country, to another culture. They get educated about other lives, about humanity. And I tell you that these, these students were probably just on the edge of not graduating. And for them to experience this and understand, I think it was life changing for them. During Feature Fest 15, we had a really unique opportunity with a, an adaptation of Don Quixote that was done by USC's School of Cinematic Arts and James Franco's Rabbit Banditti Productions. What we saw there was an opportunity for students and our educational partners in the Coachella Valley to engage with a team that had done a really large-scale version of projects that we do here in the Valley. In attendance were representatives from a lot of the organizations and schools that we work with, College of the Desert, Palm Springs Unified School District, Digicon, Rices Culturas. This room, we piled into this little black box theater at Palm Springs High School and had a really intimate and engaging conversation. I think the big takeaway from the night was what it takes to collaborate successfully. Couldn't make a movie, at least the movies that we were making, um, alone. We needed a, a crew, so everybody would work on each other's projects. It's so beautiful to see how a film could be made with anyone, like with just a class, with just if you have the passion and dedication. You can sort of come from a small town, take a basic theater class or a basic film class, and if you have the heart and determination and the willingness to work with others, you can one day achieve your dream of writing your own film or producing your own film or creating your own documentary. It was very um, enlightening about you know the industry and, and what it takes to make a movie. Everybody goes through the same things. There really is a path to where they are. You know, they make you feel like maybe one day, you know, I could be 
standing next to Horatio Sands and talking about movies. Storytelling is, it's one of those things that it feels sort of abstract and amorphous, but actually it's a very specific skill set. Scene one, shot one, take three. It's one thing to uh, inspire introspection, uh, exploration, um, inspiration. It's quite another to inspire the actual creativity and the ability to make uh, something from what you've learned, actually make your own statement, make your own film. The Shortfest Film Lab Fellows Program was realized as a partnership between the Palm Springs International Film Society, Palm Springs Unified School District, and independent filmmaker Vincent Sassone. How do we get him out of the tree, right? How does he solve the conflict? Exactly. They chose to be here to learn how to make movies. We started at 8 o'clock in the morning and we ran till we dropped. It was a real world experience. The whole point of doing it is not so that someone as myself can do it, but rather can do it and explain as we're doing it to people that are helping out. That was cut off. Mm -hmm. Did you guys see that? Yeah, I liked it. It was better. The festival fellows were engaging with short fest filmmakers. They also had an opportunity to experience short fest. If uh, you have a generation that's so comfortable with those elements, then we need to teach them to be storytellers with those elements. One of the best things that's happened for the film festival in recent years is that we've opened our doors to interns and mentees. Our mentee program is a partnership with Palm Springs High School's Art Institute. When you're just there watching instead of looking behind the scenes of the entire festival, you don't really know how much work was put into it. And everyone really enjoys their time here. You have a lot of freedom to do what you want in your way. The mentees work specifically with our programming department. So they also get some really unique insights into how films are programmed and why. Mentorship programs and internship programs come down to the people who participate and the relationships that you form with the students. After graduation, I was looking to get into the film industry and I googled the top 50 film festivals in the United States. Another way that we engage with students in education here in the Valley is to bring filmmakers and industry professionals into the classroom. So next time you write, just flow and forget about judging and then, you know, you edit later, you know what I mean, you revise later. Pedro Costs came with us to two schools. One was Palm Springs High School, the second was Cathedral City High School. And got down to the nuts and bolts, engaging with them in their projects that they're working on. Having the ability to tell your story and to communicate with other people in a succinct, emotional and compelling way is absolutely essential. Even more importantly maybe is developing an audience and people who appreciate the arts. Film and arts and culture is a tremendous economic driver in our uh, communities. It also improves the quality of life. It's so stimulating, so enriching. It gives you a window into the world and what's possible. Having this in our community is such an opportunity. It's a, a wonderful to be an educator in Palm Springs and having this as a resource. I think we've accomplished those goals to a certain extent with our educational programs at the Film Society. That being said, uh, there's much, much more we want to do.